once you have your dress on, you're going to want to line up a few things. The line down the front, the center front line, should be in the center front of you. So on my dress form, you can see that that's pretty well lined up. Then you're going to pull up the straps, the front ones, and take the back ones and pull them up to wherever you need them. So some might need them lower, some might need them higher, just whatever feels comfortable to you. And I would mark that. So for this mannequin, I'm just going to pin it. What you can do is you can take anything. You can take a clip. You can even just hold it, hold the two straps together and mark at the edges. So mark where this comes down with a pin and then mark where this strap the, the bottom one meets, just so that you know where to get these markings when we take this off. So for instance, you would take your marker or your pen and you would mark where this comes down, where this one comes down on the front. Then you would mark where this one comes on the back, okay? So that's gonna help you know that when it's time to put, do the pattern work, exactly where these need to come. Now, once you have these marked, you may notice um, that the side seams are not straight. We always want straight side seams. Now, if your side seams are pushing forward, if they're looking more like this, going out like that, then parallel, then it's probably because your bust is bigger than it has been drafted for. So this pattern has been made for a size B cup, but uh, like me, my side seam pushes forward. So if you're bigger than a B cup, you're gonna need to do a full bust adjustment. Now usually, the way you do it is you'll have darts and you'll cut up the dart, and it's something I look forward to showing you later, but this dress was specifically picked because I think it can be very, very simple to do. So we're not gonna cut, we're not gonna do anything like that. All we're gonna do is a couple of things. If your bust is bigger than a B and it is shifting forward, what I want you to do is look in the mirror and if that side seam is hitting you where it should, right under the underarm, look and see how far it goes out Okay, so it's going to go out like this, but then I want you to basically draw an imaginary line in your head all the way down to where it needs to be. Now, theoretically, you can take a measuring tape and hang it from here and see where it goes down. So you can just see it go down straight, and then you can mark that line, mark where it goes. And I'll show you how to do that. So if your dress is pulling forward, you just hold this here, and you see how plumb this is to the floor? That's gonna give you a very accurate read. And what you're gonna wanna do is, I actually already made a mark because I know that this is, has done this to me. And so you will keep it right there. And I just kind of bring it up and take a pin And just mark that spot right there okay because we can mark all over this muscle we're never gonna wear it but look how far apart mine is to this it's about five inches and we're gonna do some pattern work to fix that here in just a little bit we're back at the pattern work stage at this point now so what we did was um, adjust for the full bust and we're gonna do this in a couple of different ways so I want you to take your pattern number one, which is the front bodice, front dress part, and I've got some paper, a pen, and some tape because I'm gonna actually have to add to this pattern piece from this top armhole. So find your armhole seam, not the neckline with the center front, you don't want that. You want the armhole with the side pockets. And if this bust adjustment is for you, then watch closely. I'm just gonna take some computer paper, slide it in, slide it under, 
and I know that I need at least about five inches or so at the bottom, so I'm going to make sure to definitely, definitely leave that much, and just fill it all in. Okay, now I'll need to tape it so that it's not going to move anywhere. down. Okay. Now, very important to remember is that our pattern, the pattern's edge is actually the cut line. Well, that's not where we measured from. We measured from the seam line. We started at the seam and measured out. So we need to start again at the seam and measure out, not the cut line. So, if you did the double tracing wheel, you'll probably see where the seam line is. If not, know that it's 5 eighths of an inch in, so you can measure that and you can mark it or however it helps you. But you're going to measure from that point, from the seam line. So I'm putting my ruler in on the seam line and I'm going to measure out 5 inches. It's right there. So I've just put a little dot. Now, what we need to do is we need to connect this dot to this armhole because the armhole fit well. So we just need to make the line go out a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ruler. You can use the measuring tape or anything that really helps you get it to that point. Now, my ruler is not long enough, so I'm actually going to take something else that is just as straight, that I know is straight, and line it up with my ruler. So if you have a yardstick at home, um, I actually have a really, a longer ruler I can use, um, but this will work in a pinch. So I've lined my ruler and my straight edge up, and they all point to this armhole. So I'm just gonna trace it. I'm going to trace it with a marker here. Now that that's done, it's a little bit messy, but we'll clean it up here in a minute. And now I can just do it with my ruler, make it nice and straight. And then we need to remember that this is also going to be the seam line. Now we need to add seam allowance. So you can do that in a number of ways. You can find 5 8 inch and do little dash marks all the way up. Or if you've got your double tracing wheel, I always love to use it. And I'm actually going to just mark it all the way up. Okay, and so now I have that line that I can then cut on. And this will be my new pattern. Always make sure to use scissors that are not your fabric scissors when cutting paper because it will dull them. Okay. So, we now have, even though it looks a little bit funny, we now have a pattern piece that was going to fit us. Now, what I want you to note, I did not change it, but if your bust is, is big, you're going to really need to consider adding some length to the front because if you think about it, the more that the fabric goes over your bust, the higher it's going to raise up. So, like I said, the, these dresses here, I didn't do anything to the hem, but I do want to let you know you might need to just leave a little extra room here at the bottom of your hem when you go to cut out your actual fabric. Okay, so just leave a little bit of extra so that if you need to 
um, have it be a little bit longer in the front, you've got the room to do it. And there's all kinds. We're, we're just touching the tip of the iceberg on fitting, and that's why I'm not explaining it in complete full details because we're just trying to learn the basics. There's all kinds of fitting issues you can have. Um, I do want to make note of the shorten and lengthen line. You can cut those, spread them apart. If you, if you have a longer torso, you can spread them apart, add paper in just like I've done. There's all kinds of information and I want to let you know that uh, if you'll join the Facebook group, we can go over this information in more detail, more on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So just keep that in mind that we're just touching the tip of the iceberg on this, but a bust adjustment is very common, so I wanted to make sure we hit that one. Now, what we'll do next is I will take the back pattern strap and the top strap, and we're gonna mark where the, where the fabric actually hit us when we were putting it up on our shoulder strap. We're gonna mark that on our pattern piece just as a reference. We're really not gonna use it right now, but it's just gonna help us later on. And what I'm gonna do is lay my muslin out, the one that I marked, and it's gonna help me um, just have a frame of reference, like I said. Now, I turned it over because on this piece, this was the reverse side, if that's making much sense. So, they were mirror images, so I've got to get this lined up correctly. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little, a little line on my pattern piece so that I can see it. And I'll do that on the strap piece as well. So I'll take the top piece off. Set that aside and I'm just going to take my back pattern piece, put it on this one and I can see through the lines. You may not be able to see through, but I can see this line and you will be able to too when you do it at home. And I'm just marking a little line and that way I know for future reference when I go to sew my real one. Okay. So for now, we're done with the pattern work and we'll begin our actual dress, our fashion piece dress, in a little bit.